Welcome to the speed test and comparison between the Galaxy A51 and A50 after the Galaxy A50 Android 10 update. It's been a week since I updated my A50 to the all new Android 10 with the new Samsung One UI 2. For those of you who are interested in knowing how much the Android 10 has improved the Galaxy A50, you will find that out in this video. Before we begin, please subscribe as I have been working really hard for all these videos. At the moment, both phones are using the same latest software update. A51 uses the Exynos 9611 and has a RAM of 6GB. The A50 uses Exynos 9610 and has a RAM of 4GB. And Tutu score is on your screen. After the Android 10 update, A50 score has gone to 168,000 from 140,000 and this is a massive improvement. This phone is now so close to the Galaxy A51. Both phones are using the same settings and options. There is no SIM card inserted. Wi-Fi is the same on both sides. The video has been fast forwarded where needed. To start the speed test, I will restart the phones. Okay, so the A50 wins the restart test. Wow. Fingerprint scanner. It's the same on both sides, the technology is same and the A50's fingerprint scanner has improved a lot over time. It was a hit and miss back in the day when this device came out but now it's performing very good. A51 loads the phone app faster. Die for messages. Settings were slightly faster on the A51, scrolling seems the same, same animations on both sides. Camera is a tie too, so far so good. Facebook A51 Twitter Slightly ahead on A51 Instagram Tie again Zooming in and out is extremely smooth. One UI 2 has fluid animations and you can see the scrolling is very smooth and fluid on both sides. Chrome loaded faster on the A50, let's load web pages. Tie hair, animation and scrolling is same once again. No stutters or lags whatsoever. YouTube was faster on the A50 as well. I will edit a same video in the Viva video and export it. The phone doing it earlier will win. A50 beats the Galaxy A51. This is getting serious. Snapseed. I will edit a picture. It's a tie. Lightroom. I will edit another picture. Another wow, the A50 it is again. Time to load the game starting with the PUBG Mobile. A51 wins for the PUBG Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile 
It's a A50. What's going on here, guys? Hill climb racing two. A50 again. Candy Crush Saga A50 Subway Surfers A50 it is Temple Run 2 It's a A50. I am amazed what has actually happened here. A phone with a 4GB RAM and a year old processor is beating a newer device. So apparently all the applications are still there in the memory. I will randomly relaunch the apps and see which ones stick and which ones restart. The RAM management of the A51 is better. Of course, this phone has 6 gigs of RAM and it will definitely have an advantage over the A50 with a 4 GB RAM. But as far as the speed test is concerned, the A50 is it in the gaming section particularly. What a great fight put up by this device. Let me tell you the Android 10 differences now. A50 gets every single feature that the Galaxy A51 has including a screen recorder but misses on the features like the edge panels and the edge lighting. And I don't believe that Samsung will bring that feature for this device in near future. A51 has a lot of hardware upgrades and of course this phone is better in terms of its design, display, camera and the form factor remains the same. Both devices have a similar performance right now so even if you don't have budget to pick up the Galaxy A51, go with the Galaxy A50 and you will not regret it. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe now and hit thumbs up if you found this video useful. Drop your feedback below and with that said, I will sign off. See you in the next one.